Keran Bor, I'm at Chalke, who's joining in to talk a little bit more about Sun Pharma's numbers. And uh, I'm in a backdrop of a fairly disappointing set of earnings and global pharma stocks seeing pain. How are you reading into the fact that the profits are nearly half for Sun Pharma? Yeah, but uh, we have to see that uh, these are affected by several one-offs, both on the positive and negative side. So um, the reason I, I am still uh, positive on the stock is obviously because of the price and the steps they have taken to boost investor confidence. Uh, uh, like they have discontinued uh, contract with AML, uh, they have also taken back with, uh, loans and advances for at last global. So uh, that should also help uh, bringing investor confidence back. And also the price, uh, it is trading at uh, 16, 17 times on FY21. Years. That's interesting. So, Ame, what is it that you've upgraded your price target to? So, we have maintained our price target around 600 rupees, uh, so which is more than 20-25% per, 20, upside from here. Okay. Um, Ame, what about uh, the outlook then uh, for Sun Pharma in terms of earnings growth? Do you think that this was a quarter marred by a lot of one-offs at one time hit amid the change in their overall distribution strategy, which is what they have alluded to, and that uh, in the coming quarters there could be you know, an overall change in strategy that could bode well for the company in terms of financials purely? So FY20 would continue to be an investment year for them because they are continuously investing in specialty side of the business. But I believe FY21 or the uh, fag end of FY20, you would start seeing the benefits coming in from the ramp up happening in the specialty products like Illumia. And uh, so we have maintained around 24% EBITDA margin, which is around 300 pips up from here. So which should be helped by specialty business ramp up. Why are global... I mean, global uh, generic companies getting smoked. I look at Teva's uh, performance last night, down 10%. Mylan has taken a knock of 5%. So do you think irrespective of what Sun Pharma is trying to do, it will remain uh, like a underperforming, Pharma will remain an underperforming stock and Sun Pharma will not uh, give you market beating returns for next two years? Uh -huh. So Teva's case is also slightly different because they they are facing a lot of lit litigations also. Uh, plus their big product Copaxon is also facing price erosion. Uh, so uh, I believe Sun Pharma is in a different zone at this point of time. They are into investment phase of specialty business. So <clears throat> if if uh, these two, one, or, one or two products click for them, so obviously the profitability would be very different from what it is looking right now. Yeah, good to have you on the show. Thanks much for taking the time out and analyzing Sun Pharma's numbers. Happy and positive about the numbers. Uh, 600 thereabouts is what the price target has been up to. But after winning an overwhelming mandate for this second term, PM Modi will be discussing